What's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Dub clearing the air following his comment about dark-skinned women hating on him, and he says he loves his black women. Let's get all the ladies on the shade room. For all the women that I offended, I did not mean it like that. Um, all I meant is when I go, I don't even have a lot of women in my audience, and when I do, it's never nothing good. It's never oh you look good or oh I like this. You're a great dad. It's just always a negativity thing, and that's just. Duh. Only time a woman say you look good is when they are literally attracted to you. It's a lot of women not attracted to Dub. Um, and I'm not being funny either. That's just a thing. Like that's what all people talk about. Uh clearly he's a, a a dark chocolate for somebody, but I'm just saying a lot of women act like they're not attracted to him or whatever. So with that being said, it's like that's not something that they're gonna comment, and I don't know what else he expects, to be honest with you. Aside from the looking good thing, they not, okay. Just what I hate because if anything they can say you fly. I love my black women. I love my black women. If you could ask anybody in the world, I'm the most racist. You know what I'm saying? I'm the most racist in here. <laughs> I've never dated out my race. I never will. What you like, Derek? You like Asian women, right? I like Asian. What I you like, like T.O.? I like them all too. What you like, Cinco? I like, you know, fat ass. Exactly, bro. <laughs> all the ladies in the shade room, for all the women the that I, room. like, my black women never went out my race, man. Ain't that right, George? Oh, yeah, I love your mama. <laughs> I, I just, I speak too freely. They don't do my yeah, words. You gotta be, you gotta be. I just think George should just cut it all off. I think he should cut it all off. Or, by this time, I would've asked DDG to go ahead and slide me something in the front. Somebody gonna help me. I ain't for what you say. It's not how you say I didn't, it. I didn't mean it like that. How you say. I know. They took it. They like took that. it like that. Yeah, I get it. You Cause, know? bro, you know, I probably got the lowest demographic. My demographic is ninety-five percent male. Mine is ninety-nine percent women. Five percent women. Oh, so you don't need to get two. That's what I'm saying, bro. And the five, women. and the five percent, they, I just felt like they hurt me, dog. I just felt like they hurt me. Like my black women never went out. Man, how, how do you? That's so crazy. Uh, what are the comments saying? It's okay. We didn't want him anyways. <laughs> Why y'all so offended about what he said? Um, that's his experience on his platform or under other platforms. I'm so confused. Do y'all really think y'all hurt our feelings when y'all say some dark skins? Like, we don't give a F. We still bad. <clears throat> this comment section is what he was talking about. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> um, he laughing. He don't mean that he just scared to get canceled. Next. Y'all, you, like, realistically, you can't cancel nobody, bro. And I think people really think that you can, but you got to know that you really cannot. Um, damn, so the TikToker was charged. TikTok personality, Mr. Prada, charged for the word of Baton Rouge therapist faces second degree, erda and obstruction of justice charges. Oh, man, that's crazy. It's a lot going on. Rest in peace to him. It's a lot going on today. All right, let me, uh, let me plug in Tea Room video. Tea Room. Uh, let me see. Did I react to this one yesterday? I didn't. A new plan. <clears throat> Man, if you don't come to hell on. So Clarence and Queen recently shared that they did go ring shopping while out in New York. So it appears that they may be getting engaged sooner than everyone expected. <laughs> What shape y'all like better? Y'all, y'all knew her ring was gonna be dumb. I kind of like the circle better, whatever that is, like the oval, oval, like the oval. What shape? What shape you like better, bro? I like, 
I like the cuts inside of here, but I like this shape more. I like the square shape. Now, of course, Clarence didn't buy the ring while Queen was there. I'm sure he's just getting a feel for what she likes, and then he'll go and purchase the ring later. But he did purchase himself two watches. Hi, I'm done being stressed. Jewelry shopping. I ended up buying both. I'm <laughs> bugging out. <laughs> I ended up buying both. Probably a crazy decision, but it's, it's a little smart. It was smart. Both watches I bought have tremendous value, and it's only going to go up. Oh, then it's an investment. Yeah. But yeah, now we're at Joe and the Juice. I'm about to get a spicy tuna cotto, you know? Tuna cotto sound good as hell. And have some food, some good food, man. Today was a stressful day. It's always stressful when you spend money, man, but... We're gonna make it right back for show. Sure. So DDG's. I gotta get myself something. Ooh, gotta make myself. Started his own podcast, and his third guest appearance was his brother Dub. Now people were upset at a comment that Dub made about dark skinned black My women. Heart is just dark skinned women, bro. Really? Uh, Y'all yeah, reacted to, God, to this. It's just dark skinned women. I'm just keeping There don't be no light skinned girls. No, it's so crazy. I'm going to tell you a story, right? What hate are you talking about? I'm going to give you a story because I got this story that I want to tell. It'll blow your mind all my life. I ain't uh, tell you something about dark, stand, dark skinned women before you, you know, continue. Mm -hmm. Darker the berry, sweeter the Come juice. Come on, man. Yeah. It's not that, bro. It's not about that. It's Remember like that. Every time same. I click a, a shade room comment, it's not a nigga. It's not. A, a, a white woman, it's always a dark skinned woman hating on me, like trying to cancel my. I'm like, damn, we the same. I we wouldn't say, look, I would say, because, you know, I, I get a lot of hate too. I wouldn't say just dark skinned women, though. I would just say black women in general that's don't like I mean. me. Black. But it's just like. What, what bothers me is they don't understand that's the demographic y'all in. I, and, and hell, DDG is valedictorian. I don't understand. Like, you know, as a, the, our race, Black people, we always been hating on each other, bro. Like, niggas killing it. Girls don't like girls. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's been like that. I feel like at this point. I don't even want to go through this again. Thank you. I'm over it. Liking you has nothing to do with the skin color. We're not all dark skin. Another person states the anti-blackness from Dub is crazy. And before y'all start talking about black women or dark skin women hating, please think a little deeper into who your core audience is. Hello. Another commenter stated Dub is trying to impress his new Mexican and black yellow bone girlfriend oh, that he's so happy to have. Dub, your mother and sisters are the women you're insulting. It's okay to have a lighter complexion girlfriend without having to insult women that look like your mother and your sisters because you excited to have a light-skinned woman with three children. If you stay with this mystery yellow bone woman, the same color as your Maybach, quoting you, you want to make sure she's not hated based on how you're bringing her into the picture. P.S. Your brother DDG date light-skinned women all the time, and he doesn't find the need to insult other women of darker complexions. Now, Dub also brought up the whole Britney and Chris Sells situation when Chris Sells went on to TikTok and said that Dub didn't know how to treat a woman. Then Britney responded with, bro, I'm crying. Now, this is what Dub had to say about that situation. That goes back to the, this, the Chris Sells situation, right? This nigga Chris Sales make a video about me and Wuop, right? And I'm beefing with Chris Sales because he posts my Wuop mama and say, I would never date this. This, this, he said some crazy shit compared to her name. So I'm like, I gotta get this. Let's right? think about this. Oh, oh, let me finish. I said, I gotta get this. So every time I would, I would send this nigga shit without nobody knowing. Let me ask you this, bro. If you hated somebody, if you never, I'm talking about <clears throat> you didn't talk to somebody, you hated somebody, y'all didn't do anything, y'all didn't see each other, y'all don't text, talk, y'all don't have each other number. Would you give them, would you feed them, walk outside and give them a hamburger every day? Or mm. buy, give them gas for their car? Pay they? I'm like, what? Rent. Would you do shit like that? That's all I was explaining how it was disrespectful for, to me. Because it's like, even though we do share a child, 
and I do 100% provide for my child, I'm still doing for you, and I have something way else going on. What if the girl way that I'm with now, like, why the fuck are you giving? If you taking care of your son, why is you giving blah, blah, blah? But I'm like, bro, I got a good heart. I care about nigga said he got something way else going on. You heard him. This person. You know what I'm saying? Not, I don't want them to go back to the Pontiac life. I just want them to be comfortable. It's, it doesn't hurt me to sin or do this. It, I don't even realize it. But then for somebody to go against me for a comment, for somebody that I'm beefing with them because not only they talked about my brother, they talked about both of my brothers. Do y'all think she went against him like that? I feel like what she commented wasn't that deep. Now, granted, I don't know. I probably would have. I probably would have been mad too. But like, I ain't gonna lie. Maybe he know. Not maybe. Clearly, he know her in a different light. Obviously, so he probably knew she was trying to be funny or something. I don't know. But they put you on their page and said, if you was the last person on earth, I wouldn't touch like, this. To leave and disgrade a woman. So no, Brittany comes <laughs> Man, back and disgrace. responds with, don't nobody pay my bills but me. Let's make that clear. Tired of getting sent clips saying someone pays my bills or sponsor my lifestyle. I have my own place because of me and me only. Now people have been... Now she admitted to Dub giving her money saying that he pays her uh, monthly, but I think she's taking it as, you know... She do what she do with the money. Uh, girl, I don't know. Defending Britney, someone left a comment that stated Dub cheated. So Britney wrong? She out there by herself. Y'all turn your back. We are not stupid. Now, this is what DDG had to say about allegedly the family turning their back on Britney. Dub, so, Dub cheated. So Britney wrong. She out there by herself and y'all turn your back. We are not stupid. Brittany is still family, y'all. Whatever her and my brother got going on, that has nothing to do with nobody else. Um, Brittany could call me whenever. Brittany is forever family. Like, people go through things. People break up. People don't stay together forever, bro. It's normal. It happens. It's okay. If Brittany ever wanted to come around whenever she wanted to, it's good. Whenever. Britney, uh, DDG love Woo Wop. That's Woo Wop mama. Come on now. That's why they got so much respect for her, because of that, that baby. They love Woo Wop. She know that. They just going through a really rough patch. This is something new in their whole, I don't want to say relationship, but their whole companionship. They have never went through nothing like this where they breaking up for real, you know? So now this last comment states, Dub is slowly canceling himself. He's arrogant and everyone around him knows it. Demo slowly moving on. Once Wooop realized how shady he is towards his mom, because bro definitely a mama's boy, he threw. If he's smart, he'll shut the F up. And Wooop is a, is a parent's boy. He loved both of them equally, I feel like. I think he really loved his dad. And he loved, like that mama love, you, it'll never go away from them boys. But he really loved his dad, too. He ain't about to be living without neither one of them. <sighs> yeah, nah. Just do his content. And I Dub isn't shading Britney. Like, that little video he did was more so like, girl, if I was this person, you know, I wouldn't be doing said things. I don't feel like he's... Trying to be shady. Notice most of the people who responded to the hate or people's comments, which is what DDG was trying to explain, fall off. Hence, CJ so cool. He was fine until he started talking. He got 9 million followers watching for his downfall because they're not watching his content. Look at Chris Sells. He got the same reaction. Still has a couple million followers, but nobody watching. No, ma'am, that's not going to happen to Doug. First of all, Dub don't make his content personal like that, and I wish he would stop talking about things personally. But CJ So Cool was a piece of shit. Chris Sales, piece of shit. I don't think Dub is a piece of shit. Dub, Dub still providing financially. Uh, Chris and CJ both pulled the, the, the wallet away. 
<laughs> okay, which didn't help the kids, don't help no nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I completely disagree. In Dub's heart, he continued to help her, and I still believe he continues to help her. Dub about to be next to end 2024. And uh, from the looks of it, he don't got no side hustle, but YouTube brought about to be a cameraman. Watch. So now you Man, guys what? leave your opinions on this please. down in the comment section below. Now, the only- Let me say, please don't compare Dub to them sad ass niggas. Okay. Difference between CJ So Cool, Chris Sells, and Dub is Dub has DDG. So as long as <laughs> DDG is on, I'm not sure <coughs> Dub could ever fall all the way off. Now, of course, he could get to a point where he's not doing as good as he's doing now. But again, you guys leave your opinions on that down in the comment section below. Girl, Dub ain't falling off. Them boys know how to make some money. Them LA niggas know how to make some money. Okay. Uh,. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey. <laughs>